Hello, History of England listeners. This is David Crowther here. We're in Selborne, together with my brother, actually, who is the cameraman today. Uh, Selborne's an absolutely lovely village in East Hampshire, in the South Downs National Park. Uh, and my brother-in-law got married here. So, behind us is the Church of St Mary's. It was founded in Anglo-Saxon times, actually. But most of what you see is more recent than that. The oldest bit is the nave around about 1180. In Selborne, there was a priory, which was actually dissolved well before the Reformation because they couldn't get sufficient monks to come here. And it's actually down, you can see where it was once upon a time. So it's actually down where those trees are. And there's a lovely walk down there called the Lithe Walk. Behind us, although you can't see it, is buried Gilbert White. And Selborne is known for Gilbert White because he was the curate of the church here. He is a famous 18th century naturalist and gardener. We're now in the church at Selborne, St Mary's. Um, this is a very old font, Norman maybe, possibly even Saxon. The top of it, the cover, is modern, but it's done from yew and there was a very, very ancient yew tree here which got blown over, uh, which was about 1400 years old. So. Uh, that was one of the glories of the churchyard. The stump is still there, I think. Now follow me and we'll go a bit like Rutland Weekend Television. I'll go and show you the rest of the church. It's a nice wide open type of church. The oldest bit are over here, these big pillars, typically Norman, big, massy, simple design. Uh, and at the bottom you can see things have developed over the years, so uh, there's now a, a rather grand Liridos. So it's a it's a lovely modernized church. So this below us is Selborne in again South Downs National Park uh, just to show you a picture of how lovely it is because it is very lovely. Jonathan and I have just walked the top of the zigzag path onto some common land uh, that was cut by Gilbert White himself. One last little bit of a post then this is Selborne Common one of the very few bits of common land left in East Hampshire and where they do exist they are a joy. So this is maintained now as wood pasture as it would once very much have been used by local uh, commoners and members of the village. It's got cattle on it, it's cropped for coppicing uh, with glades maintained for being able to uh, feed sheep and cattle. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed my little thing from Selborne. Thanks to my brother too for holding the camera and uh, good luck and have a, have a good time.